quick overview of how to use the Accelerating Electrons Lab. What you do is when the lab opens up, you'll have a negatively charged metal plate, a positively charged metal plate. You'll have an electron that you can have liberated from the negative plate. It will start at rest and it will be accelerated toward the positive plate. When you're ready to accelerate the electron, you just click the fire electron button. The electron will fly over to the other plate. You'll get a value telling you how many nanoseconds it took for the electron to travel from plate to plate. What you want to do once you have your travel time is realize that the electron was accelerating the entire time. So you can use the distance traveled by the electron. You can get this from the ruler. So in this case, it looks like it's about 17 millimeters, 0 0.017 meters. The initial speed of the electron was zero. The final speed of the electron is something we'd like to determine. So VF. Unknown. The acceleration of the electron, we don't know yet. And the time of travel, we do know. So what we want to do is take all that information, use the formula distance traveled equals initial speed times time, which is going to be zero plus one half A T squared. We have everything in here except for the acceleration. So we could solve for the acceleration of the electron. Once we have the acceleration electron, we can find the speed by doing velocity final equals velocity initial, which is zero plus AT. So you take the A that you just found, the time, and get the final speed of the electron. Okay, you could then reset your system and see how different changes to our system are going to affect the speed obtained by the electron. So we can reset our system. We can change the position of the plate. So we can change how far apart the plates are. We can also change the voltage between the two plates. and we can fire our electrons again. Okay, what you'd like to do is see how does each factor affect the final speed of the electron, and if you'd like, you could also see how it affects the travel time. So you'd see how does the distance affect final velocity, how does it affect travel time, how does the voltage between the plates affect travel time, and how does it affect the final velocity.